Hey guys, welcome to Hobo Reviews. What? We're not doing that anymore? I thought it'd be fucking hilarious. Alright, whatever. Fine then. Alright guys. So, so you want to know that I'm, I'm, I, I'm looking a little gruffy, looking a little bit homeless. Um, it's because I'm actually uh, going to be auditioning for a role that uh my manager says that i actually have a pretty good shot at getting um i'm not sure if it's a tv series or a movie but um yeah apparently for a lot of you guys that follow me you know that i have been working out and losing a lot of weight and i work out about two hours a day and i die like crazy so apparently i'm supposed to be like a shredded hobo <laughs> I I decided the point. I just I, I'm looking a little scruffy, and it's no shave November, so you know it, it all kind of worked out. But anyways, Lego. So for you guys that don't know, this is my drunken review. This is basically I'm not drunk doing the review, although I've had a couple drinks. <laughs> This is basically where I got drunk, decided to watch a movie, and then took a bunch of notes. A bunch of notes. I, the, the, these might be the most notes I've ever taken watching a movie. And I'm going to read them to you guys. So, <laughs> this should be uh, interesting. And we're going we're gonna to find out. <laughs> Let's go. This is for Slumberland. And spoiler alerts, because I have no idea what I wrote down here. So, <clears throat> anyway, without further ado. Uh, I wrote, mysterious opening, beautiful shot of lighthouse. Visuals are fucking amazing. Uh, so good. Uh, that, uh, that seems like a good start off. Uh, cast is perfect so far. Yes, I do remember I liked who everybody they cast it from the dad to the uncle to everybody. Right now, so far, I, I'd like to cast. I liked everything about it. Um, I put, afraid of monster vibes. Uh, Liam Neeson movie mixed with Life of Pi mixed with Little Monsters laugh my ass off. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know if that was the name of the actual movie. There, I know uh, Liam Neeson. I think it was did a movie called like I'm I'm not afraid of monsters or something like that. So I think that's what I was talking about. Like he gave me those vibes. Um, and then also what I put mixed with uh, Life of Oh yeah Life of Pi because the shot of her in the boat and the the I think there were like dolphins and things like that and it was just a beautifully done shot uh mixed with little monsters so uh Jason Momoa's character I can't what's his name Flip I think uh, I'm sure it's in here somewhere but I think his name's Flip he straight up if you ever seen I think it's called Little Monsters man it's from like the uh, it's a movie from like the 80s where the little boy meets monsters and he goes into like the monster world and it's like under his bed but Jason Momoa's character was like acting exactly like the the monster from Little Monsters so I think I think that's why I put that <laughs> <laughs> oh and then i put jason momoa playing beetlejuice question mark so yeah once again he he kind of has that vibe like the beetlejuice vibe like the guy from little monsters things like that he has that whole vibe going on which i thought he did perfectly like i was really surprised at his range of acting that he was able to like take it that far because it, it was to like trust me if you guys haven't seen the movie yet which you shouldn't be watching this if you haven't but if you haven't seen the movie yet it's straight up like beetlejuice vibes so and um, then I put uncle is an alcoholic question mark. No dreams question mark. Um, so this, I think he was talking about the uncle said, I can't remember the uncle's name, but he said, I can't, I don't remember my dreams anymore. And so right, right away. I was like, Oh, that's a red flag. That's something that's very common amongst people that suffer, supper, suffer from alcoholism. <laughs> So, I was like, maybe the uncle's an alcoholic? I don't know, but he doesn't remember his dreams, so. And I put, what in the two rats fucking in a ranch Dorito bag kind of school is this? <laughs> I don't know why I put that. Oh, yeah, so the I remember there was, like, this classroom scene, and, like, all the students were, like, off to the side, and I think they all had, like, computers or something, and they were, like, weird desk off to the side, not lined up like a normal, like, American school, and... I don't know. It was a weird school. Uh, that's all I remember. I don't know. Uh, oh, yeah. And you can see Jason's way clears that. I may actually made a video about that. Left my ass off. 
um so yeah i made a whole video about that you can see it on the channel maybe i'll clip it in here um but yeah like at one scene you can see like jason's wig is falling off and they like somehow didn't ca catch it in like post-production or anything like that they didn't fix it fix it with special effects so that's why i put that okay so so far i'm really enjoying this movie but look at this you in this scene you can see jason's wig as clear as day and it's just coming right off and nobody caught this like how does this make the final edit look at it look at this shit there you go Girl Scout trip to Lollipop, okay? <laughs> We're gonna have to travel through other people's dreams what to get to that treasure. So you can kill. What the fuck is going on? It's on you. You said you can't die in the dream. It's literally peeling off of his head. How do you not fix that in post production? I said you can't die in your dream. And then there, they fixed it finally. <laughs> what the fuck? Let's see. Never heard Jason scream like a little bitch before. Laugh my ass off. So, I don't know. I don't remember what scene this was, guys. I have no clue. But apparently at some point in the movie, Jason Momoa screams like a little bitch. I think Flip's in a coma. Exclamation point. So I guess I, as I'm like watching the movie, I'm like going through theories in my head. The uncles are drunk. Flip's a coma patient, I thought at one point. So like maybe that's why he like, because I remember Flip says like, I don't remember how long I've been asleep. So I was like, oh shit, like, Maybe he's a coma patient, which makes a lot of sense to me. So that's why I wrote that. No, not throw pig in trash truck. Exclamation mark. <laughs> so stupid. You got to remember, I'm like three sheets to the wind at this point, guys. But I do remember that at one point they like jump on the back of a trash truck. And the pig, the pig is so adorable, man. The pig is like one of my favorite characters. But she chucks him up into the trash truck. And I got so mad. I'm like, no. No, you do not throw a pig in the fucking trash. <laughs> so, I do remember that. Uh, the directing and attention to detail, all amazing. Um, Like the kid driving trash truck, waking up before dying. Okay, I remember that. So, like, there's a scene where the kid's driving trash truck. And that's his dream. And they go over a cliff. And, like, right before they, like, go into the water, the kid disappears. You know, he snaps awake. And I thought it was, like, great attention to detail because they say if you die in your dream, you die in real life, which isn't true because I have died in my dreams several times. It's a crazy fucking experience. But I'm sure other people have too. <clears throat> but uh, but in the movie, they actually explain, like, no, if you die in your dream, you're fine. If you die in other people's dreams, that's no good. But the kid does wake up before they uh, hit the water and he dies. So... There's just a bunch of little details like that that I thought were really cool. Um, yeah, and I put can't die no dream own dream. Um, oh, flip saved pig. He does care. So yeah, so basically like the whole movie, flips acting like a hard ass, like I don't give a fuck, and then like he saves the pig at one point, and it's like oh yeah, you, you, you fucking you softy, you fucking care, but you fucking lie to me. And I put, oh shit, Flip is the uncle, which I kind of remember. I must have been pretty fucking good at this point because I kind of remember that. And uh, so, yeah, I thought Flip was going to be a coma patient, but apparently the reason why uh, the uncle can't remember dreams is because Flip is like somehow his dream counterpart. I don't know. The, all that is like, I thought the coma angle would have been way better, but <clears throat> all that gets kind of convoluted. I, I don't know. Yeah, I need a drink. Let those try. God. Get that cotton mouth gun. No, I don't. I don't do it. Anyway. <laughs> it says in quotes, my dad didn't move on. He told stories about you every night. Uh, and I put made me tear up exclamation points. I don't remember that. Um, oh, yes. I, okay. Yeah. Yes, I do. Um so yeah the little girl i can't remember the little girl's name and I, I don't think i wrote it down at all which is horrible but um yeah i remember she's like talking to flip and flip's like your father gave up on me or something and then she's like my dad never moved on you know he cared about you and he talked about you every night and uh so yeah that that's why i put that okay that baby in the elevator was adorable um i i kind of remember that there's a baby in the elevator i don't know it, eh. Uh, wine woman waffles 
Three W's, dubs, smiley face. <laughs> yeah. If anybody knows what the fuck I'm talking about, feel free to comment down below because Wine Woman Waffles, three dub, three W's, dubs, happy face. Bro, I, I have no recollection. And then I put, is Pig her dad? question mark so another again i'm like working out theories while i'm drunk watching this movie i put it was exactly like i'm not afraid of monsters so i got maybe that is the actual maybe in my drunkenness i remember the actual fucking name of the movie which i absolutely love i did love that movie is fucking badass i did love that movie uh thank you very much exclamation point i don't know why <laughs> and then i put it uh, to guide us on our journey such a beautiful message heart heart exclamation point heart. Oh, no. I mean, gosh, you guys can see i swear I, wrote that. I, have no idea that. I guess the end of the movie had like a really beautiful message or something like that i don't know i didn't write a number score for this one which is where usually i like give it like a zero out of ten um it seems like i really enjoyed it um i remember i actually remember most of it um, so I'll go ahead and I'll give it a score here. Um, for me, I, I would go ahead and say it's like a seven out of 10. It's above average. I really enjoyed it. It wasn't without its flaws. I do remember the, the uncle character kind of annoyed me a little bit. I don't remember why, but I do remember he kind of got on my nerves a little bit because he was like, kind of had, if you know, the actor, he's like kind of silly and goofy. He's a comedian. Uh, comedic actor. I don't know if he's actually a comedian like the stand up and things, but he usually plays comedic roles and he's like funny at times, but then other times he's just kind of a douchebag. So I do remember that. And uh, like I said, there were some special effect things like Jason's wig falling off. They didn't catch. I just slapped shit on my mic and things like that. <clears throat> but so I'll go ahead and even though I don't, you know, I was pretty intoxicated at the time, I'll say that it's a seven out of 10 overall for me personally. So I do recommend you guys go watch it if you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen it, I don't know why you're watching this, but it was, I, I thought it was an adorable movie. It had everything I wanted of the, man, that, the fucking pig, the pig is such an adorable fucking character. <laughs> so, uh, that's it for me, man. I really hope you guys enjoyed my review of Slumberland and thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the one and only Z. Bye-bye. What's up guys, Z Shit here. Now if you enjoyed the video, make sure to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. What? What that? That's it. That's all I got. Get, get the fuck.